Welcome to this video. In this video I would like to explain to you very important functionalities and features within the SE16 age within the selection criteria. Here as mentioned we are in the transaction SE16 age and I have already made an own video about the functionalities about the SE16H so basically how you can search in the database table entries how you can use a database connection author joint definition how you can set up the SE16H and so on and here right now I would like to set the focus on the selection criteria so I would like to dive deep into very important functionalities uh, like grouping and like a sorting because that can also be useful for you um, so I will uncheck this here for a second but um, as mentioned you can use the SE16H as the most advanced transaction to display entries in a table so as mentioned here you have to enter the table name in this case echo for the purchasing document header information you can also use the search help the f4 help to basically uh, search for different tables and if you don't know by heart the name of the table to uh, look it up and to put the name of the table into this field and then once you hit the enter key you will see all the available fields you can limit the selection and so on but basically with the f8 key or with this execute button you can display your entries saved directly in the database in the table so this is a nice feature how you can or you see what is the real data and if you would like to analyze it here we are in the AOV grid control so you have the basic functionalities available like also sorting and what is also maybe important like exporting within here as well but Let's jump back and set the focus on the functionalities of the selection criteria. Um, here in the uh, column field name, here you will see the name of the field. So if you are basically in this row, then um, your entries or your settings will affect this row so if you would like to um, limit for some uh, purchasing numbers then you have to be on this row and to your um, limitations your settings and stuff like that here um, within the column option there you have the ability to choose one option so if you for example would like to just select one so equal to and this can be kind of like useful for example here and um, by default you um, if you don't enter any values in the columns from and to value then basically it's similar as an asterisk so if you would like to search for every value and you don't have any limitation but for example if you would like to uh, search for a an empty value then you have to click on the option and you have to double click on the select equal to and leave it empty and then you are exactly searching for some uh, entries where this column is empty so this can be useful but you can also use other options like uh, less than greater than or you can also choose and range and if you are uh, searching for you if you're choosing the green options then you're basically including them and if you're choosing the red icons the red options then you're excluding the option but uh, it's always um, described in the text what you are choosing then as mentioned uh, you can enter some values with the from and the to value to limit your entries within the output so for example if you just would like to search for uh, yeah, purchase orders with uh, starting with uh, 45 and then for example up to whatever to uh, 46 and then you can do this so then the purchase order numbers with the 47 won't be displayed and uh, the higher of course and the lower than the 45 as well so this is one possibility how we can use the from and the two values if you would like to uh, use more 
or multiple values within uh, the from and the to where then you can click on this more button and within here you can enter multiple entries multiple selection criteria so for example if you would like to search for different uh, ranges then you can um, do something or similar like this um, i don't know if it doesn't matter or doesn't make sense but here it's just a demo case that you don't want to for example have the 47 the 48 and the 49 ranges but also the 50 up to 51 ranges so this is on also possibility within here you have also the option and what can be useful is um, the upload flow from clipboard button because maybe you have some values some options in excel or in a text editor like notepad and then with the copy from clipboard you can upload or you can copy more than eight entries within multiple selection criteria this can be useful if you have a lot of limitations a lot of selections then you can just uh, put your selection criteria within a notepad within excel copy it using Control c and then use the upload from clipboard button that this is useful if you would like to get rid of all of your entries just click on the uh, delete all entries button and then you are there then let's set the focus on the column group this is a, a powerful column together with the grouping column because within here you can basically group your output so here if you're using the search help you can enter a set a set id that will be used during the grouping and with the grouping you have possibilities to group your output so that you will see for example the number of um, entries grouped by one value so for example if you would like to um, display your output corresponding for uh, based on the document type so let's set this checkbox on the document type and then execute the selection then here you will see within here within the column your document type and you will see also your number of entries and uh, once you set the focus you can also store it as mentioned so for example descending and here you will see the number of entries based on your document type so for what document type are the most purchase orders and you can do uh, also for example if you would like what person has created the most purchase order so set the checkbox group to anam so the creator of the purchase order and then execute it and then you can also sort this then you will see what kind of sap user um yeah has created the most purchase orders and so on so you have a lot of possibilities a lot of analytics possibilities right now within here if you uh, use the um, let's let's skip for just a couple of seconds the sequence column because it does make more sense to explain to you the sort column at first if you select this column then the system sorts the number of hits using this field and yeah um for example yeah um, purchase order and then company code whatever and then if you have checked the column sort then within the sort type you can specify whether you would like to sort the entries ascending or descending so whatever you like to and if you have checked uh, multiple sorts or multiple attributes with the sort column then you can also use the sequence so you can enter a number from 1 to 99 so this is possible and then the fields are sorted in the sequence as mentioned from 1 to 99 if you do not enter anything in this column then the fields are then sorted according to the occurrence in the table so occurrence could be date document whatever 
And if you mix the fields that have explicit values from 1 to 99 with fields that do not have a value in this column, then the fields without values are added according to the occurrence after the fields with a value 1 to 99. So therefore you can specify the sequence in more detail. And you have also the aggregation column. So within here you can specify um, the aggregation type. So for example whether you would like to aggregate it as the average, the maximum and the minimum. You have to be really careful on this because depending on the data type not all aggregation functions are available. And you can either use the aggregate or group or total field combination but not both at the same time so this is also what you have to be careful and let's also set the focus on the total by selecting this field all rows found in the query that corresponding to the grouping rule you selected are accumulated so um, yeah, let's just see where we have a checkbox for the total. So for example, the target value and let's also check this. Um, let's see if those values are maintained or used. So let's check everything and let's check once again, maybe the document type for the grouping and then let's execute it. And here we can see um, yeah, that those fields are accumulated. So let's jump back. So yeah, this can be kind of like useful for you. And what I also like to highlight, for example, if you don't want to output every attribute every column then you can set uh, the focus on this column and then you can choose within here deselect all and then you can just select those values you would like to select so if you just would like to get rid really uh, quickly out of this then this can be kind of like useful for you as well so and yeah if you have any questions left please put them in the comment sections if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe this youtube channel to never miss great upcoming videos thank you so much and then see you in the next video